this is Cinema. And this is Johannes. And you are watching Board Gaming Ramblings. And today we are taking a look at Founders of Tale to Walk On. This is a new tile placement game, puzzle style game from Philip Glowash, and it's published by Board and Dice. It plays from one to four players in about 60 minutes. Yes, this is not. Haven't really gotten anything to anything. do with Tale to Walk On. Nope. But it is Sport and Dice and they did Tale to Walk On. But it's a game. It, it, they, so that's like it's the game it's and the it's connection. the same artwork. And theme. And it's a, a theme of you yes. building Tale to Walk On and building things with yes. tiles. Cool. And buildings and stuff. Yes. So this is, as you said, a worker placement kind of uh, tile placement game. I've just said like two times <laughs> and I'm like, I don't know what it is. <laughs> So basically, very short overview as we always do. If you want to see rules, go to other channels to learn the game. This is just overview to make you maybe make sense of the rest of the video, yes. which is the point of the videos is yeah. it for it to make sense and help you find out if this might be yes. a game for you or not. Just so that's clear, this is a review copy so you know that yeah. before going into the video. Yes. So you will have these kind of small discs that you use as workers. You can place one or you can place more of them. You can place them on a free space or you can place them where somebody else is. And depending on how many of these discs are placed there, you will have a different power, which depends and which then depicts how big of an action basically you can do. Uh, some of the actions are you will be building buildings that give you resources. Some will be building temples that give you different cards or different like scoring opportunities. Not cards, like tiles with scoring opportunities or bonus actions. And the last thing you can build is basically building the temple or building the pyramid with different colors that you can do like a little puzzle of matching those out. You have a board with four quadrants and you will be sending an architect around and around every round. So around and around every, every round. round. So every round you will only be able to build in two of the four quadrants of your board, which is a very interesting part of the game by yes. planning ahead of that. And we will be talking more about that in the gameplay section yes. of the video. Coming so soon. coming soon, you can skip to it if you want to by just clicking its chapter yeah. in the timestamps. If you don't want to listen to this rambling overview of me Let's kind of explaining the game. Let's make it more boring. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so what you're doing is that in this game, no, I'm just kidding. Uh, you will, it's a penguin. It's a penguin. In its natural habitat in now. Natural, um, yes. There's no penguins no. in this game and no penguins either. either yeah. uh, so you'll be placing these, getting, if you are the first to place, you'll be getting like a bonus action or a bonus resource. And uh, doing the actions, the other ball kind of like you have like two parts of the board. You can mm. do the building actions or you can do the administrative actions, which are filling up resources or building small resource buildings. You will be able to finish those tiles that give you scoring opportunities. And you will also be able to just move on a track to be able to change out some of those scoring opportunities and get some points along the way. Yeah. And that is kind of what you're going to do in the game. Mm. So with all of that out of the way, let's talk about the first thing we always talk about, which is... Artwork and components! Do -do 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 -do. Okay. Welcome yeah, okay. to Artwork and Components. Boom. They're fine. Yes, it's some usual Eurogame stuff. It's the same that's in Teotihuacan and yeah. the other, I think it's the same one in the other ones as well. It's really not that many components. It's a lot of tiles in yeah. Tetramino shapes. Mm -hmm. uh, there is some other tiles with scorings on them. There is some uh, like discs that are your workers and you have a There's no, no artwork on those. No, it's but there are like, components. It is, there are yes. components, they're not non-existent. You are right. Yes. So I think I think the game looks fine. I think yeah. it looks like a Euro game. Like yes, it's not it one does. that you will be looking at and going like, oh, this is beautiful artwork, but it's a fine looking game and it not it yeah, doesn't look it looks bad. normal. So player count, this is a one to four player game. Yes. Is it? It's a solo mode, I think, as well. Yeah, yeah. yeah it is. I, it, I, is. I, yeah, it has its own rule book. We have not played that. Nope. We have played two, three and four players. Yes. Uh, and uh, no, we haven't played four players. No, we we haven't. only played two and four, two yes. and three players. Two and three. Sorry about that. I just I, Always, as we talk about it, it's still hard getting groups together yes. and enough people, but we try to do the best we can. Uh, two and three players we have played a few times and it's taken about an hour. Like both two players and three players has been about an hour because you play one less round when you have uh, when you are uh, mm. in in uh, with more players. You play fewer rounds yes. when you are in this and thing. Then, yeah. So I feel like two and three players didn't really matter that much. Oh, you felt like that? Oh, you did feel opposite of that. Yeah. Well, I felt like um, yeah because the worker placement feels otherwise. Other, different. Different. Thank you. 
with with uh, two two and three players yes. because it happens more between your your turn mm -hmm. like yes with with three players Obviously, because more will not happen with two players, because then it will be my turn and it's your turn again. Yes, but that means that because, okay, yeah, because that is cool. When you work placements, I can't speak Do right now. Do you know now. where you're going with this? I think so. I know okay. where I want the end result to be, but like the role there is very narrow. Are you saying like more things are happening between the turns? Yes. So there's, yes. you said that already, and then you try to f go further from that. Yes, because like, because I wanted to explain why, but it does, it says itself. It's yeah, because it's more fine. people are doing yes. things. Yes, yeah. <clears throat> yeah. It felt like you had different. no nothing you wanted to say with that. I felt like uh, three players was better. Okay, in my opinion, you three players were better. No, uh -huh. but yeah, because ah, I want to explain why. I want. I'm gonna do it because um, uh, when I choose where to put my <laughs> worker, <laughs> yes. smiling, yes, and then I want to be like, oh, I want this really cool bonus. But if I place on top of you, then I get to like use the me p person that's already there to yeah. do a stronger action mm -hmm. and that is more likely that that will happen when there's more players because then I can jump on top of other there's players. There's more choice basically yes. but also there's more chance of people taking the tiles you want because yeah, there's only going to be true. a few other tiles yeah. on the board at a time depending balanced. on the player board. It's nice with you as well. Okay, that was might have been the most strange player count and player time we have ever done. But yes. Felt really inefficient. <laughs> I enjoyed it both two and three players. Yes. For me it was not like oh three players is way better or two players is way no, better. I, agree. I felt and it's not it this is one game that I felt was almost as good with two. So it was not mm -hmm. a game of like oh it needed that third player to be a good no, game. I agree. So this game is basically has we have talked a bit about it already, so we don't have yeah. to go like super deep into it because we already Talked a bit about like the, the player and uh, the worker placement part of it. Mm. Uh, one thing though is that this game is like Wingspan. Yeah. How is it like Wingspan? I don't know. Oh, okay. I was trying to like bounce it over to yeah. you. And I was just like, how is it like Wingspan? Like... I'm just saying yes. <laughs> We're trying to do like the, the good professional well, transitions. You get fewer things. Yes. Yes. Winner, winner, <laughs> something. So let's do that transition again. Like, yeah, never, okay. nothing happened. So one thing that's interesting about this worker placement is that this game has a very nice thing from Wingspan. I don't what know if it's from Wingspan. No, that was Let's do this horrible. one more time. Okay. okay, so one thing that is very interesting about this worker placement is that it has one very interesting mechanism that is also in Wingspan. <laughs> and that is that you lose like one of your workers or yes. tiles every round. So mm -hmm. you get fewer and fewer with each round, which means that it feels very, very sad when you lose the things because then you can do fewer things. It, and this game has because it doesn't have like that combo feel of Wingspan. Yes. Which means that this has a pretty weird feeling mm. because most games escalate yes. throughout the game and this kind of de-escalates. Well, I feel like it's kind of like it de-escalates but then you also usually have built some maybe some uh, buildings from before that you have resources available to get oh, yeah. to do stuff yeah, in yeah. other ways so Absolutely. it really doesn't like war it's very hard. It's not like you hard. don't get to do oh, anything, no yes. no. But it, and it also kind of the rounds doesn't feel like that much of rounds. It feels like you're just like you go round and round and round then you refill something, you go yeah, round and round, round and yeah. you refill from time to time. Yeah. So it doesn't feel like that but it, it feels different from many games because of that feeling. Yeah. So yeah, that's kind of the worker placement part of it. You have to decide if you want to get more power by placing somewhere somebody else has played mm. or placing where no one has played. And you can also like, you can place one and one or you can place few more yes. pieces in a goal to get to like a quicker, uh, more powerful action. I feel like it's almost always better to place one and one because then it feels like then you can do a little action now and then a better action later, but sometimes Life uh, gives you potatoes and you have to make potato mash. It really mm. depends. Like sometimes I feel like there is a special bonus time, oh, yeah. for example, I which really if I put need. two yeah. there, then I have like a power of three and I can yes. do that for both of the actions yes, I want to do. True. Instead of placing like one there, which then makes it a very suboptimal action. And or then, going another yes. place where you already are to do one of if the two actions. If you can do two with more, that yes. is really good. <laughs> that is absolutely true. So um, let's talk a bit about the, the, the actual tile placement. Yes. Because I feel like that is where the game is more, most feel most like different. Yeah. Uh, and most interesting maybe. I feel like the 
coolest thing I think about this like tile placement is the planning of where the architect is yeah because I can for example be like oh I want to place this um, temple there because yeah. I have my red scoring in that area because then I get po points for the red temple How that, does that I work? place because the pyramid that you build in the middle yes. ha can also be built, it has to be built into different sections. Yes. And that means that you try to match the colors of the pyramid to the parts that you build the temples in the matching colors. That that makes sense? <coughs> Absolutely. A little? That yeah. Makes sense. Perfect. So then it means that I'll be like, oh, okay, this, this turn, I have to do this action because the meeple is there. And next turn, I really want to do that action, but I can't really, like, I can do it, but then I don't get the points for the things that I want to build. Mm -hmm. And that is the wrong shape and stuff like that. So I, I feel like that I actually plan a little ahead in this game. Oh, yeah, absolutely. And sometimes you're yeah, like, oh, I rare forgot. For me. As this thing was gonna yes, move and uh, you oh, I didn't yeah. do that and sometimes it's worth just buying the temple to get like the scoring tile or the special tile even though we're not gonna get the two or three points for it because there's different strategies I feel like going yeah. for here even though like going for no points for all the temples is not gonna be a very good strategy yes. believe me I tried and uh, one thing I do really enjoy like there's there's one thing which is like okay is filling out the mosques by getting points yeah, for that. I think kind that of, is nice. That is a race kind of. It, yeah. it, it adds interaction. It's one of the things that actually adds interaction to a more or less like a solitary yeah. game. But the, you wanted to say something Yeah, the because I think like that changes up how you play sometimes. Because it, okay. sometimes I feel like it's very obvious that I'm going to place, for example, the resources where it's nothing around it so that I can fill up because you when you place a resource building you place like everything that is adjacent you get resources in mm -hmm. and then it would be uh, less of a thinky decisions if it was like a one obvious answer now mm -hmm. I have to think about the mosques as well and those are usually in like between something you no know, uh, to like adjacent to like at the side of the board yep. so that means that if I place a building over the mosque I get the points but I get less resources because that was the thing we were going to talk about because we haven't talked about how the resources work yes that's where I was going to go ahead. next no, but no, it no makes worries. sense yeah yeah it makes sense especially after we talk about the resources so uh, I'm just joking when you place the resource buildings this is one thing I also really enjoy which I haven't seen in this kind of game before is that many of these puzzle games have like obviously a spatial thing which I really enjoy mm. but this also has like when you place a resource building you get physical resources on the spaces yeah. around that, that building cool. uh, all the orthogonally places uh, around the building and you have to have space for it so you have to choose like do I want to build it here and then maybe not have space for that temple uh, but mm. get all of the resources I want to build it down here but only get half of the resources for the action I just it did. really hurts my brain that this is a grid that I don't want to play like I don't build want to place good. it perfect yeah, yeah, I want to like have gaps it yeah. feels weird but you get used to it pretty fast though yeah but that is yeah. very different from this like this kind of like the placement and the moving of the architect is what makes this game stand out for me yes. it makes it feel different make mm. it feel like it's a fresh thing in a genre of games which mm. has many similarities like you want to build perfectly this little thing you want to get those points maybe fill over something you have that here as well but i really enjoy the uh, scoring of the, the, the temples mm. i enjoy also in that regards i really enjoy where you uh, the temples also give you those scoring tiles and you have to balance like building all of the temples and getting all the scoring mm. tiles but you also need to do actions to actually oh, yeah. finish those scoring tiles and usually it's a very nice balance yes. i feel like and usually i end up building out all the temples and then forgetting to score the tiles mm. and the like the harder temples the bigger temples that are harder to build usually has very easy yeah. scoring and yeah. the the very cheap temples are harder to score so mm -hmm. that is i think that is a nice balance absolutely so i think we basically is there anything you don't like like for me most of the things here are either like oh this is something i've seen before or interesting and fresh oh, yeah, yeah. is there anything you do not like i'm trying to like wreck my brain no i really like everything about this game i i can't really fault it at any anything mm -hmm. um i just enjoyed it a lot so i'm ready for final scoring yes i don't even i don't think i have anything like negative is there i'm trying to think about something that other people might not like of course you have to like tile oh, placement yeah. and and I think like the balancing here of the worker placement, I'm basically doing my final thoughts now, it seems yeah, like, so I'm just going to do that. No problem. Uh, I, I really enjoy like the 
the tile placement and the the worker placement part of it like the mm, choosing when mm. you want to do the yeah. building actions when you want to do the administrative actions you never have enough actions yes trying to do combos trying to do this to get that and then use that to get another action yeah. to be able to build that thing at the right moment when the architect is at that place mm. i think it's crunchy enough i think that i don't know like in like it would be nice maybe to get an expansion to do add some variability because the game is you are going to do mostly the same things uh, of course the different scoring tiles are going to push you into building oh now i have a scoring tile i want to give me three blue tiles so i want to build three blue tiles mm. because i want those 12 points uh, so for me i think it's a good game i don't think it's an amazing game but i did enjoy my place of it and i feel like it's fresh enough so if you like Work placement, it doesn't really feel like work placement, but that has a kind of genre. Mm. But if you like tile placement and you want something that feels a bit different, a bit yeah. fresh, yes. I feel like this is absolutely that. And I'm going to give it a 7.5. I think it's a good game and I want to keep it in the collection. Yeah, I, I have, like, when we wrote down the things that we were going to say, because we have some, like, oh, we want to talk about this and this and this, and I was just 100% like... 100% scripted. Yeah, yeah, of course. And, and I was just like, oh these are really cool mechanisms mm -hmm. these are really fresh things that i haven't seen done in this way before especially that yeah as you said worker placement where you yep. like the numbers that you place gives you a better action mm -hmm. i really like that i I think it's really cool that if I go there with like a lower number, I can still do the action. I just yep. have to pay more. Yep. So it's really not very restrictive either. It That's feels true. open. And that also makes it a really good Euro puzzle. As you said, for expansions, I don't feel like I need that at all. Because nope. for me, it's just yeah. like optimizing this. I yeah, feel yeah. like I still have, like the last round we played, I felt like I did really well. But then I miscalculated. Like I thought we had, we were done, and then we had one more round. I was just like, and next time I play, I will gonna, I will go into crush you. But you still won you. like a lot. Yes, but I will. So, so I need an expansion that makes the game easier for me. Yes, um, so I, I really can't fault this game at anything. Uh -huh. I feel like it's just like a, a lot of fun. Yeah. And I want to give it an eight. It's a great game. Awesome. So that is Teotihuacan founders of that place. And that's the end of the video. If yes. you are still here and you have not subscribed, you can do so now by... Clicking the subscribe button is fun and it's free and makes us happy like this. If you want to do something that's not free, you can. Go to patreon.com slash boardgamingramblings and support us there. And that is the end of this video. Yes. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Johannes. I'm Cinema. And you've been watching Board Gaming Ramblings and bye bye.